what? I was just thinking. You know what I find is quite interesting and odd about this whole Jussie Smollett ordeal? What I find interesting is Jesse Smollett is a demon crap. He's anti-Trump. And he was only doing what every other demon crap was doing. He was only doing what the media has been doing for the last two years. So why is it that people now decided to turn their backs on him. They've actually turned their backs on their own kind. He was only doing what's already in the air. When we turn on the media, all we hear is racism. This person is racist, that person is racist. This is racist. That's racist. Even things that's not racist. People are saying it's racist. We're hearing about politicians with history of racism. You have black reporters. Don Lemon is always talking about racism and how President Trump is a racist. When I've not seen one time where he displayed or made any type of racist comments, everything that they said that accused him of being racist was brought on by the media. But yet, Jussie Smollett did what he felt that he was doing for the cause. He felt he was doing something good for the cause by creating a fictitious story about being jumped by some racist Trump supporters with a MAGA hat. Now in his mind, he more than likely thought that the media would take off with that. Although there were some black demon craps that took off with it. And I've seen a lot of posts on Facebook that took off with it. Some of the same people that saying, I knew from the very beginning that something was wrong with this story. I knew that it wasn't real from the beginning, but after it hit the mainstream media, they also said that this is a modern day lynching. Kamala Harris said this was a modern day lynching. But yet now Jesse Smollett Although he was doing what every other demon crap has done and continue to do, he now, like Bill Cosby, is being publicly lynched and executed. And he's do he he's being publicly lynched and executed for doing something for the demon crap cause. So he, in a sense, is a sacrifice. He's being sacrificed by the demon crap party, although he did it for the demon crap party. He did what every other person and the media has been doing, crying racist, racism, crying wolf but now he's looking at jail time now I really don't think that Jussie Smollett should be charged 
I don't think he should be charged because he, like a lot of other Americans, whether they are Democrat or whether they are Republican, regardless of what side you're on, he is just a victim of today's environment. He's a victim of what he heard coming from the media. He's a victim of the energy of today. So he was only following suit to what everyone else was doing and saying, if you sign on to Facebook right now, you'll see posts, memes, videos. You could be talking about Valentine's Day candy and somebody would bring up Trump and say that he's a racist. So Jesse Smollett was only operating according to the climate that the, Rep that the demon craps and the media created. He, like so many other so-called black Americans and even whites, because I sit back and I watch and I listen. And I think to myself, these people can't be that dumb. But if you look in the eyes of Jesse Smollett, He's in a trance, like so many other demon craps, he's in a trance. Demon craps are so deep in trance that the politicians tell you, tell women that's supposed to be protective of their children. The child is a part of them, but yet the Republican, or the, better yet, the demon craps, convince you that it's okay to murder your unborn child, even at the time of birth. Let that sink in for a moment. People are so brainwashed. And so far into a trance that they murder their unborn child even if it was an hour or even 10 minutes before birth. Jesse Smolik is in a daze. When I looked in that brother's eyes, I'm like, he's in a trance he's not even there he don't even know why he did what he did he was only going according to the climate the political climate of today he was only doing what the media and every other demon crap do every single day so can we really hold him accountable for his actions can we hold him accountable when the political climate is kicking Trump supporters out of restaurants, telling them that they're not welcome in public businesses because they're wearing a Trump hat and it's okay. Those businesses are not punished for that. They're not punished for hate crime or discrimination. It hit the media, somebody make a video about it, they'll talk about it, and the business owner will say, I'm still gonna hold firm to what I believe in. That you're not welcome. There was a person that was kicked out of a health club that he's paying for because he was wearing a t-shirt that said Trump. So if that's the type of climate that we're living in, and if people are getting away with hate crimes and discrimination, 
because someone is wearing a hat or a t-shirt that says Trump or make America great again, why would he have to deal or face jail time for paying someone to fake a hate crime when they're doing it every single day? So personally speaking, I don't think Jesse Smollett should see jail time. As a matter of fact, I think I might make a pretty good attorney. But you have people that's turning their backs on him and no longer want to support him because he did what everyone else was doing. Make sense of that. So feedback, tell me what you think. Until next time, I'm fearless.